Now that we've talked about physical and chemical changes, let's talk about the two types of digestion. Before we do that, let's review. Remember, a physical change is any time there is a change in size, texture, or other physical properties of an object. Some of the other evidence you can use is change of shape, change of, fa change of phase or state of matter, change of mass, um, or anytime something dissolves. This is a physical change because it didn't change what it is. For example, if you cut a piece of paper, it's still paper. So in this image, you have a pot of water boiling. What kind of change do you think this is? How is boiling water an example of physical change? Chemical change is different. It's the opposite. It's a change in the chemical properties of a substance, because, and it did change what it is. It's a new substance. Other pieces of evidence that you could use to determine if something is a chemical change would be a change in temperature, an unexpected change in temperature, an unexpected change in color, um, a formation of a gas or an odor. You could see it as the form of bubbles, too. Formation of a new substance or production of light. For example, if you burn a piece of paper, you can't change it back to the paper. It's ash. It's something totally different with new chemical properties. Here you have meat cooking. What kind of change do you think this is? When the meat is cooked, how is that a chemical change? So back to the types of digestion. First of all, digestion, all it means is that it's a breaking down of material. So anytime you hear someone say your body digests food, it just means your body breaks down food into smaller molecules. There's lots of ways that it does that. Three types of digestion are mechanical and chemical. And since you already know what physical and chemical changes are, this should be pretty easy for you. Mechanical digestion is where a physical change happens, and chemical digestion is where a chemical change happens in the digestive system. So here we have meat being cut. Is this a physical change or a chemical change? Well, it's physical. So where is your food cut up in the digestive system? What type of digestion is this? And what is your evidence? In this image, we have baking soda and vinegar being put together so we can see a reaction. What is the reaction? What ev evidence do you have to support your claim that it is physical or chemical change? Similar things happen in your digestive system. So where does your food get mixed up with acid in the digestive system? What kind of digestion is this? And what is your evidence? Your small intestine uses enzymes to turn carbohydrates into sugar before sending the sugar to your cells. What type of digestion is this? What is your evidence? Remember, just use your evidence of physical and chemical change to help support your claims of chemical and mechanical digestion happening in the digestive system.